Good day, everyone. Now we are in for lesson 4.7, confidence level and sample size. Our lesson outcomes at the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to understand the relation of confidence interval to sample size. Determine the sample size based on selected confidence level. And last, determine the sample size based on population and margin of error. How large a should a sample be? Many researchers find this problem. In fact, many rely on old methods to determine the sample size they need in their investigations. This problem should be addressed carefully because needlessly large samples are a waste of important resources. On the other hand, insufficient sample size may lead to poor results. Okay, so meron muna tayong uh, deriving for Formula 1. There are two things to remember when we decide on the quality of sample size we need. Confidence and narrowness of the interval. The computing formula in determining sample size is derived from the formula of the margin of error E, where let us solve for N, the sample size needed in estimating a population mean. So using the margin of error E, and that is the Z sub alpha over 2 times the uh, standard uh, deviation uh, sigma over square root of N. Then, pwede natin siyang rearrange instead of Z sub alpha times, pwedeng mangyari ay Z sub alpha over 2 times sigma all over square root of n. Then, itong square root of n, pwede natin cross multiply with error e. So, kaya magkakross product sila with square root of n. So, ang magiging result na ay e times square root of n equals Z sub alpha over 2 times q. Then, ang target natin dito ay yung sample size N. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dito sa letter E, pwede siyang mag uh, both side all over E. So, uh, remain ang square root of N sa left side. Then, yung sa right side ay nandun pa rin yung Z sub alpha over 2 times Q. So, lagyan natin ang over E. Yung ating letter E na nasa left side, pwede siya maging over E sa right side. Then, para ma-eliminate natin itong square root ng N, so left side and right side, pwede natin siya square both side. So, square natin both side. So, yung ating left side ay magiging square root of n square. So, n na lang yon At yung right side naman ay z sub alpha over 2 times q over e square. Then, ito na yung ating magiging result. Okay? So, a formula in determining the minimum sample size needed when estimating the population mean is... N equals the square of Z sub alpha over 2 times a sigma all over E. Since the value of sigma is usually unknown, it can be estimated by the standard deviation S from a prior sample. Alternatively, we can make approximate the range R of the observations in the population and make a conservative estimate of uh, approximate R over 4. In this case, round up the value of, of obtained to ensure that the sample size will be sufficient to achieve the specified reliability. Sample 1. Jesse wants to replicate a study where the lowest observed value is 4.2, while the highest is 
14.2, while the highest is 14.9. He wants to estimate the population mean mu to within an error of 0 0.025 of its true value. Using 99% confidence level, find the sample size n that he needed. Okay, so the confidence level is 99%. So, ating alpha ay 0 0.01. Then, pag kinuha natin ang value ng Z sub alpha over 2 dun sa ating Z, ta Z table. So, it is 2.58. The desired error is 0 0.025 according to the information. Since the range R is in between 14.2 and yung lowest at yung highest naman ay 14.9. So, kuhanin natin yung difference nun. 14.9 minus 14.2, we have 0.7. Then, divide natin by 4. So, to get the sigma, we have the range divided by 4 or 0.7 divides 4. And it is 0 0.2. For getting the sample size, yung ating formula, so n is equals to the square of C sub alpha over 2 times sigma all over E. Substitute na natin yung ating mga nakuhang values. So for uh, Z, alpha over 2 is 2.8. At yung ating sigma naman ay point. 2, then yung ating error, 0 0.025 raised to 2. So, ang ating uh, inner value, itong 2.58 times 0.2 all over 0 0.025 ay meron siyang value na 20.64. Then, square natin yon So, meron tayong 426. So, the required sample size is 426. Okay. Note, when determining sample size, we always round up the resulting value to the next full number. Okay, next, deriving formula 2. To determine the sample size for finding the confidence interval for proportion, the computing formula is also derived from the margin of error. Using the margin of error E, so that is a Z sub alpha over 2 times the square root of P hat times Q hat all over N. Modify the proportion, so we get itong C sub alpha over 2, pwede siya maging denominator ng E. Okay, so we have E over Z sub alpha over 2 equals to the square root of PQ, P times P hat times Q hat all over N. Then, para ma-eliminate natin ito square root, uh, left and right, ay pwede natin siyang square, yung both sides. No? So, square natin yung both sides. So, ibig sabihin, itong radical sa right, may eliminate na to. At yung nasa left naman ay magiging raised to 2. So, we have E over Z sub alpha over 2 raised to 2 equals uh, P hat times Q hat all over N. Then, itong nasa left side uh, by definition of or by using the left exponent, pwede natin separate yung squared, squared dun sa numerator at square then sa denominator. So, we have E square over Z sub alpha over 2 square. Again, yung nasa right side, bring down. Then, yung pwede natin uli i-modify itong ating uh, proportion. Pwede siyang mag-cross product since ang target natin ay itong sample size N. Finally, solve for n. So, magkakross product muna siya. No? Ito, pwede siyang magcross product. So, we have 
uh, n times e square equals to p hat times q hat times c sub alpha over 2 square. Then, yung ating nasa left na e square, pwede na siya maging denominator nitong nasa right. Okay? Since may iwan na sa left yung n. So, n equals p hat times q hat times c sub alpha over 2 square all over e square. Then, balikan natin yung law of exponent. Itong part na to. Pwede natin siyang uh, pag-isahin na lang, lalo ng square. Pwede siyang ilagay na lang dito, raised to 2. Okay, gaya ng nangyari dito sa ating uh, itong part na to. Okay? So, finally, we have n equals p hat times q hat times to the square of c sub alpha over 2 all over e. And that's it. So, for the formula in determining the minimum sample size needed when estimating the population proportion is n equals the product of p hat and q hat times the square of z sub alpha over 2 all over e. In computing the sample size for estimating a population proportion, there are two situations. First, if p hat is known, use the formula. Second, if p hat is unknown, use a p hat equals 0.5. This value will result in a sample size large enough to guarantee prediction given the confidence interval and the error of estimate. Example number two, new course structure. The dean of college wants to use the proportion uh, to determine the sample size needed to interview regarding their thoughts about the new course structure. She wants to be able to assert with the probability of 0 0.95 that her error will be at most 0 0.05. Similar polls in the past showed that 68% approved the new structure. How large a sample does the dean need? Okay, step one, determine the confidence level. We have 95% confidence and determine the confidence coefficient with 95% ang ating z sa alpha over 2 ay 1.96 base yan sa ating z table next determine the error e and the er error e is 0 0.05 nandun din sa ating given yan uh, determine the p hat and q hat so, the given proportion is 68%. So, ang ating estimator P hat ay 0.68. Thus, the Q hat is 1 minus 0.68 and it is 0.32. Next, substitute the values in the formula and complete or in compute. So, the formula is N equals p hat times q hat times the square of z sub alpha over 2 ah, divided by e. So, ang p hat natin ay 60, 0.68 at ang q hat ay 0.32. Then, yung ating z sub alpha over 2 ay 1.96 at ang ating e ay 0 0.05. So, pwede natin kuhanin yung result muna nito, itong nasa square. So, 1.96 divided by 0.05 meron tayong 39.2. Then, bring down lang natin yung 0.68 at yung 0.32. Then, unahin natin itong 39.2 square. Uh, meron tayong 1,536.64 times 0.32 times 0.68. And the result is N equals 334.2. 37 or it is equals to 334. The dean needs a sample size of 334 respondents. And that's it. Formula in uh, determining 
the sample size given population n and a margin of error e. Slobin's formula is developed by Robin Slobin, 1960. It is used to determine the appropriate number of sample in a survey. Let big N be the population size and the margin of error small e denotes the, the allowed probability of committing an error in selecting a small representative of a population. The sample size small n can be obtained by the formula small n is equals to big N all over 1 plus, ito ay plus ito. So 1 plus uh, big N small e square. Okay. Example uh, three, government employees, suppose that you have a group of 1,500 city government employees and you want to survey them to find out which tools are best suited to their jobs. You decide that you, you are happy with the margin of error of 0 0.05. For the solution, determine the big N is small e, big N is 1,500, and a small e is 0 0.05 based on same formation. Use Slobin's formula. Slobin's formula is n equals big N all over 1 plus big N times small e square. And ang ating big N ay 1,500 all over 1 plus 1,500 times 0 0.05 square. And it is 315.789. Therefore, you need a sample size of 316, and that's it.